Hi, welcome back. I'm Pedro Lobo from MacTuts Plus. In the previous video, I showed you how to create a mail rule that would watch for a specific email and then download an attachment into the downloads folder. In this video, we are going to take a look at Hazel. Hazel is a preference pane utility that monitors folders of your choosing and then performs actions on files and folders when criteria you defined are met. If you haven't already done so, you can download a fully functional 14-day trial from noodlesoft.com. Once you've done that, head on over to your downloads folder, double-click on the DMG, accept the license agreement, and then double-click to install. I've already got it, so I'll skip this step. To access Hazel, go to System Preferences, and then click on Hazel. Now that Hazel is installed, we need to tell it which folders to watch. We do that by clicking on plus and choosing a folder, or simply drag one in. Now that it's watching the downloads folder, we need to tell Hazel what to look for, and we do that by defining your rules. But before going any further, right click on downloads and choose pause downloads rules. This is common best practice, since it will ensure that Hazel won't process any of the rules while we're still testing them, and thus avoid strange behavior with your files. Okay, now let's click on plus and add a new rule. Give the rule a name, and now we're going to set up some conditions. There are plenty to choose from. For now, all we need is kind, and we want to make sure it's a PDF, and then name. Now, if you recall from the previous video, we renamed the attachment with a specific pattern. That was the utility company's name, a pipe, the email subject, another pipe, and then the original attachment name. The reason why will become apparent in a moment, but for now, let's just try and match up that pattern. So we're going to choose matches, and type in the utility company, a pipe, drag in the token anything, which will match letters, digits, spaces, anything at all, another pipe, and then once again the token anything. For actions, we are going to run an Apple script, and finally move the file to the trash. As far as Apple script goes, we could choose an existing file, or we can choose to embed the script. To embed the script, we simply click on Edit Script. But before doing so, let's open up Apple Script Editor so we can get a better view for the script. Now, to save some time, I've cheated and I've already copied the script. So let me compile this and give you a quick rundown. The first thing we do is store Apple Script's text item delimiters in a variable. Now, by default, Apple Script separates text items with a space. We want it to separate text items with a pipe. Then, we assign the file name to a variable. Now, since we told it to separate text items with a pipe, this variable will hold three text items. One, the utility company. Two, the email subject. And three, the original attachment name. Then, we reset the file name to the original attachment name. Open up Evernote and give it 15 seconds to load, and then we create a new note. For the note title, we give it the email subject, so the text item 2. We are going to create this in the notebook receipts. You can create it wherever you like. And then we are going to assign it a tag, the utility company's name, so text item 1. Finally, we reset AppleScript's text item delimiters back to its default. So, pretty straightforward. Nothing special. So let's just copy this out and we can move away from this. Once again, click on Edit Script, paste it in, and click on the little hammer to compile. And if all went well, we shouldn't receive an error. So let's say OK. So we're going to unpause this. So resume downloads rules. And now since Hazel can take a while to run the first time, you're going to right click and choose run rules now. Now sit back and watch the magic happen. Okay, excellent. 
So now we can see we've got a new PDF document and we've opened this up. It's in the receipts notebook with the tags on and we can see that the file has been moved to the trash. So our rule worked perfectly. With little or no fuss at all, you can have Mail, Hazel and Evernote processing your paperless workflows. Just add as many rules as you need and tweak the script to suit your needs and you're on your way to paperless nirvana. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you found it useful.